Hi guys, welcome back to week four of the Magical Christmas Collab, hosted by Pink Zebra the Unicorn Crafter. Don't forget to check out the ladies in the links below for their wonderful crafts. And let's get into this video. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, it's Eileen. So today I'll be working on a embellishment box and everybody's familiar with this. This is from Dollar Tree, um, the uh, tool bench storage containers. So this is going to be in the traditional theme where last week I was working on a, a lot of pink and Santa baby. This week I'm going to use a lot of traditional um, paper collections. Right now I'm going to work with the papers that I hauled from uh, Hobby Lobby and it's this one and this one and let's see I bought four of each and then the Merry Christmas so and I might work in some of the Santa Claus this is the paper studio um, but I didn't buy this at Hobby Lobby this was it came from Hobby Lobby but it's from a D stash and I might even work in some of the snowmen and I've already pre-cut my paper for my containers. So this is actually the one that I'm gonna put on the inside for the lid. And then I'm gonna put this one on the outside like that. And then I'll probably find some trim and go around and, you know, cover up the edges somehow. All right, so I'm gonna put you guys on time lapse and you can just enjoy the video and when I'm done we can come back and I can tell you all the stuff that I did use okay so I'll see you at the end Here we go. I do not know the name of the paper collection for this, for the mitten and the tree, the Christmas tree. I got it from Hobby Lobby and it's the Paper Studio Collection Stickabilities and it does not say what um, the collection is, but there you go. There's eight designs and you get three of each. So I put the mitten here. I was struggling with what to put on top of this um, shaker bar, but um, I used the mitten here on top, and this is like um, raised. It's up off of the box, so it's like a little present. Um, I used some of that Dollar Tree tool with the little snowflakes on it, and I created a shaker with it. And I used a bunch of sequins and some of the um, tube confetti from Dollar Tree. Everybody's hauled. I've hauled it from the very before Halloween was even over. <laughs> 
And um, okay, so I used that. I created my shaker, did a zigzag stitch around. And then I used some of the diamond wrap that um, Stephanie gave to me or gifted me for Halloween. Uh, she gave me a whole bunch. So I used some to go around the box and also as the um, ribbon around the package right here. And then I used my Hobby Lobby um, leaves that I, um, what is it called? Um, glitterific. I put glitterific on top in a previous video. And there's a red bow that I got from Dollar Tree. And it's the party section, the mini bows. So I've had that in my stash. So I put that on the top. And um, I, like I said, I used the Christmas tree from this collection. And then I used one of the girls from Hobby Lobby um, Paper Studio line. Again, it does not say what the collection is. It just says Christmas 2019. But those are the girls. These are the girls from Hobby Lobby. And I used her with the little holly. With the holly she's holding right here in her hand. And I just popped her up on some uh, foam board that I had in my stash. And I used the foam board behind the present also. Just to pop it up off the case. And the tree, I put a little bit of foam board behind that too. And the girl, I used just slivers of it. Okay. And then on the inside, I just used the same Paper Studio paper um, to cover up the back side of the lid. And this is what I put in her, in a, my swap partner's um, embellishment box. I did not put any paper shred because I was having a hard time finding objects to fit in into the um, little squares. So um, I forgot to, I added some snowflake buttons. There's three different little snowflakes in there. I added some red ribbons from Hobby Lobby and put that in there. There are some little um, findings and uh, you know the jewelry and stuff that you can um, well this is a charm it's already pre-made this is from a D stash all these are from D stash and I just put them in here that she could hopefully take apart and use how she wishes and uh, I put all of that in there and these all came from D stash so I love it um, uh oh now it's a magic trick to get them all back in there you go um, I got these all from Hobby Lobby these are the mini wreaths I put two in there I threw in some of the candy cane from Hobby Lobby. Majority of the things that I did purchase are from Hobby Lobby. So this is from Hobby Lobby. The candy canes, the poinsettias, the little bows, the Christmas trees I put in here. Uh, these pearls are from Dollar Tree. And then this little um, container has uh, a bunch of gem. And also in here are some Dollar Tree Jingle Bells, the gold and the green. And then the mini ones are from Hobby Lobby. So I put all that in this little container. And then in this little one, we have the mini, mini pom-poms from Hobby Lobby. These plain ones. These are from Hobby Lobby, and then this one with the little spikes are from Dollar Tree. So I put a whole bunch in that little container. Um, also from Hobby Lobby, I picked up that I picked up a pack, a multi pack of confetti, and they had these large silver and gold um, confetti. Now they also had snowflakes, but I could not fit the snowflakes into this container but I did take some of the um, the gold and silver snowflake I mean snowflakes uh, sequin mix that there's the same pack as this 
and I put a mix in here with some also white sequins and also some snowflakes and those are all all from Hobby Lobby um, the little container I picked up from a D stash and then I added some of the bling that I used on the case in here and then I also had um, gained this as a gift from uh, Lolly Thimble and she gave me a whole big spool of it. Well, not a big spool, but it was a lot of ribbon. So it's because it's Christmas uh, ribbon, I wanted to share that into the box with my swap partner. And that was it, guys. The pearls I got from Dollar Tree, I think I already said that. Uh, these gems are from Michaels, which I need to add some more to. Because the fuller it is, the less it'll shift and fall out everywhere. So I'm going to add more since I have a whole bunch. And everyone can use gems. You know, these are just those flat back colored gems. All kinds of colors. I love this. I use this on a lot of projects. So there you go. You know, and the other thing, the other thing about it, you don't have the color you want. You can always, you know, paint it with a marker. Or color it with a marker not paint it color it <laughs> all right so that is the first of my projects uh, creating for the traditional <laughs> and it just fits like <laughs> like that so I love it there you go I hope you guys enjoyed the video and please give this video a thumbs up and I will see you all on the next one. Bye.